is Tuesday? Tuesday. 8.38 a.m. I've been up for about an hour now and you know I did my little morning routine nice quiet so peaceful morning and I just need to get dressed and pack my bag put on some perfume put on some jewelry and then I will go to the cafe for my morning working time. Yesterday was a bit different because I woke up at around 11 because I'd been up late and then I realised that my year-end results and also my entire degree classification had been released so I logged on and I saw that I got a first which is like the highest grade you can get from a degree in the UK and yeah so that was really nice and then I told my family and they seemed quite excited and I went and got myself some chocolates. <laughs> At first I didn't really understand how it had happened because I never really get firsts in anything. I was always getting a 2-1 which is like the next grade down. A 2-1 is between 60 and 70 percent and a first is 70 percent and above and I was always getting like 68, 65, range all through second year and then I guess I was just really lucky in my last semester I, my like dissertation was a first as well I don't know how it works but I felt like it was a mistake I felt like it was an error and they were gonna take it away but they haven't yet so yeah that's nice I guess I don't know I struggle to feel excited about things that I've achieved because I feel like I don't deserve them but maybe someday I will get over that oh, oh it's only 8 a.m and I'm already yawning but yes, I'm gonna pack my bag now, get going, read my book, one chapter, it's going good. I finished the Sylvia Plath book and yeah, I'm reading the Han Kang one. Now it's up there. I feel like you learn so much from reading. Even with fiction, like yeah, the story I'm reading isn't real. It's written by a real person who's probably had similar experiences or it's come from within them, you know. I think when you read something, you're learning, so. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna stop rambling and get ready. I'm gonna put on some Kali Uchis. like 11.30am and I feel bad staying in a cafe longer than like two and a half hours so I'm gonna go to a different cafe and work there instead.
I'm just waiting to meet my friends for some sushi. of sourdough and honey and honestly I'm very glad because that is going to power me through my run. I'm doing a 100 kilometer challenge this July. I've done like nine. I did a five mile run and I run every other day so I calculated I need to run 4.5 miles every other day. I'm trying to not think about it too much and just go with what my body wants but I have a feeling that today's run is going to be a good one because of that bread I just had. I also have two episodes left of my k-drama The Glory. It is incredibly intense right now so I'm excited to finish that today and I'm just hoping there's no one in the gym because I don't like hate running in front of people but it's hard for me to focus when there's other people there i feel like awkward i don't know why it's not like the same as when i run outside when i run outside i can just go but when i'm indoors and there's someone right next to me and i'm running i feel like i'm being loud so I'm not gonna lie as well having that two hour nap is messing me up because it's now 9 46 and i just ate and now i'm going to the gym for like an hour and a half so I'm probably going to have quite a late night, but I'm going to sleep less overnight because I've had that nap and hopefully I still wake up at the normal time. We'll see. Got my water. Let's go. Here is my milk. Lovely.
a.m. My day has just been like any other. I went and did some work this morning. I came home for my avocado toast for lunch, but then I had therapy and it was pretty good. You know, of course, speaking to somebody who you know is not judging you and won't get angry at you for saying how you feel is really a comforting experience. And I'm very proud of myself for how much I've grown since I started this bout of therapy. We talked a lot today about why I make videos and what motivates me or like what the purpose is and it's sort of made me realise like what I value and what I want to show in my videos so I want to focus more definitely on like you know still talking about mental health and sharing ways to deal with your emotions but also just reminding you more often that it's okay to not feel amazing all the time. Definitely place more of an emphasis on, you know, processing your emotions, your feelings, trying to understand yourself better, trying to be kind to yourself and everyone around you and like building a good environment for yourself so that you can thrive. So I think I definitely will consider more in the future what I film, you know, as opposed to just turning on the camera every day and living life. I think I want to try and make more of a difference and sign kind of think of a message I want to portray for each video before I start it in a way. Not that I want to change my videos entirely but I just want to kind of make sure that everything I put out has a meaning or intention behind it and isn't just there to mindlessly consume you know to distract you from the real world. I want you to watch a video by me and after watching it feel something or view things differently or a new way to tackle what you're dealing with you know. I want to make a positive difference people so I'm definitely going to put a lot of effort into that. I have just been organising my cupboards because I move out soon and I, when I moved in I bought a lot of tinned food like soup and stuff that I thought I would use but I never have and now I'm realising I can donate it before I move out and I've also not been recycling any glass jars I've been collecting them all because I use them to store like when I use half a banana I put the other half in a jar or like half an avocado I always store things in glass jars but I don't need as many as I have so I'm gonna recycle them continue you know clearing out my cupboards donate some stuff and the reason I'm doing this now and not just when I'm packing to move out is just to make that task ever so slightly smaller you know make it more approachable make it so that it's not such a stress on me because that is one thing i'm definitely trying to focus on these days reducing stress on me because i know that i don't deal with it well and i don't ever want to put myself in the position i was during my university days. I say that as if it wasn't like a month ago, my university days, but you know what I mean? Like I'm trying to not just have a stress-free time now after university before I like start working and stuff like that. I want to have a stress-free life. Like I want to make sure that I prioritize myself always. And that is definitely no easy task, no easy feat. You know, you might end up in a job where it does stress you out and you can't do anything about it because you just need to work. But I'm just trying to be mindful in my everyday tasks like packing to move out which is already kind of like a thing you know it's kind of stressful no matter who you are so taking things little steps day by day trying to make them easier to do and comprehend you know <laughs> i also need to write my email newsletter for the week i have an idea of what i want to write about i've actually seen a screenshot of a tumblr post but i saw it on pinterest which is just quite ridiculous to think of the layers that's been through but the post is essentially about keeping a journal and not only writing in it but putting everything you love or something that inspires you like receipts tickets photos ideas everything in this journal to just figure out who you are and i thought that was such a wonderful idea so i'm gonna do that but i'm also going to write in the newsletter about it so i was on the treadmill and i was using the like dictation so i was just like talking into my notes app and i'm going to use that as like a draft and write my email which i'm very happy about thank you so much to everyone that subscribed to the email newsletter i hope you 
are enjoying it. It just makes me feel like what I'm doing is worthwhile and you know that is more meaningful than anything else. I don't make any money from it, it's not like that. In fact I have to actually pay to do it because sending emails is not a cheap thing but I, I wanted to do it and Although I don't think I'm particularly wise or thoughtful, I do think that it doesn't matter who you are, everybody needs some human connection and that is why I'm doing my little newsletter, my little blog, so yeah. Trying every day to be a better version of myself, not just for me but for the people around me as well. So it's a work in progress, you know? Always trying, always getting better, always trying to notice the little things in life that make me happy, so. It is a beautiful, beautiful afternoon, so I just feel giddy, you know, like, how is life real? How am I experiencing so many wonderful things? And what have I done to deserve it, you know? Like, I just got my results and I did well, and then I'm moving home, which, you know, trying to start a new chapter. I'm gonna redo my bedroom and then I'm gonna graduate about a week after I move out. And then about a week after I graduate, I turn 21 years old and it's just like so much happens this month. <laughs> anyway, I need my matcha. So I'm going to go my walk, my little afternoon walk and make the most of the beautiful sun. And then get back to my tidying, reading, Stardew Valley, you know, all the good things. <laughs> Stop giving 